Hey folks, Todd Dow here with Ecom Rocket Agency. And inside this video, I'm gonna share with you how to retarget using Facebook ads. Now there are several ways to retarget. There's different strategies that you can use. And the strategy that I'm using right now uh, is different from let's say two years ago, okay? Facebook is always evolving and changing. So you have to be able to adapt. By us being an agency, we're able to be in multiple ad accounts and we see what's working across the board. So what I'm sharing with you is something that works for multiple clients uh, and I'm gonna explain exactly how to get everything set up, okay? So what I'm assuming is that you've at least got 100 visitors over to your website and you're getting perpetual traffic every single day, okay? What you want to do in that case is go ahead and hit this create button here. Now there's a, a bunch of di different uh, objectives here and there's other ways to retarget. I've uh, retargeted with traffic. I've retargeted with uh, reach, uh, which is also underneath awareness. But in this video, we're going to focus on sales, okay? We want to retarget with uh, conversion ads. And we're going to hit continue. Now, we don't need advanced plus uh, shopping campaign. We just need manual sales campaign. Hit continue. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down to here where it says budget. If you're running like $100 a day, I recommend you start off your campaigns at your, your ad set budgets at something like $5 or $10, okay? If you're running like $600 a day, or 600 visitors a day, I recommend doing uh, $20 a day. And it also depends on your CPMs too as well. If you know your, which CPMs are called uh, basically uh, cost per measure, which is nothing more than your cost to reach a thousand people, okay? So whenever you're uh, setting this up, just be mindful of how many people are in your retargeting audience and then you want to base your um, your budget around that. Okay, so if you if it costs you thirty dollars to reach a thousand people, and you're getting a hundred visitors a day, so every ten days you're getting a thousand people. So you want to spread your budget across that. So that would be um, something like three dollars a day. Okay, you see what I'm saying? So like that's why you want to diversify your retargeting campaigns by creating different types of uh, creatives so you can retarget with them but it's like I said it's based on how much traffic is coming to your site these numbers can be adjusted based on if you increase the amount of traffic that's coming to your site let's say you're having traffic coming from TikTok um, and uh, Google Google Ads YouTube wherever you want to uh, you want to increase based on how much how many visitors are coming to your website. Now, going down further here, make sure you choose your pixel. Now you want to navigate to where it says create new audience, hit create new, hit custom audience. First one that you want to set up is website visitors. Hit next. Select your pixel. You want to select all website visitors. And then right here, you want to set this up for 30 days. Some people do 180 days, uh, which is perfectly fine. But in this case, we're going to use 30 days. For the audience name, you're just going to label it whatever. Okay. I usually do all website visitors. 30 days then you're gonna hit create audience now you've just created your first custom audience but let's say that you are not getting that much traffic to your uh, website uh, which you can do to kickstart that uh, retarget audience you can hit where it says create another custom audience and now you can start layering in uh, your video view so like if you're running a video campaign you're gonna hit video, hit next, choose the 50% video views. This is the best audience that you can choose. 
anything of uh, 50 percent and above then you're gonna hit choose videos you're gonna choose the video on your page so now you gotta select your page that you're running traffic to select the video hit confirm leave this on 365 days go ahead and uh, type in your audience I put 50 percent video viewers and label it whatever the video is if you have multiple videos select multiple videos that you're running and uh, combine them together in this campaign hit slimmers or whatever hit create audience you're gonna go ahead and create another custom audience now this one is a uh, Instagram account so if you're running ads on Instagram as well make sure you choose the Instagram account and then you're gonna choose everyone who's engaged with your professional account 365 days so I just put IG engagers dash 365 and then I put the page name then I hit create now also do this for uh, Facebook as well you hit Facebook page hit next make sure the Facebook page is selected everyone who's engaged with your page 365 days now you're gonna put here Facebook engaged with page dash and you're gonna put uh, the name of the page and hit create okay so at this point um, we're gonna pretty much pause on creating more audiences so you guys understand so if you're just starting out with retargeting these are the audiences that I will retarget at once eventually you want to split these up I'm showing you this method because if you don't have that much traffic come to your website you can still pull the visitors that go to your profiles and everything else to start to get your retargeting going so that you're pretty much retargeting a lot more um, uh, people but eventually when you start getting more traction with your videos you're getting more people engaging with your content on Facebook on IG and you're getting more website visitors you're going to want to split these up into separate campaigns okay so with that being said you do want to exclude you don't want to just run this the way it is you don't want anybody that comes to your profile or to your page or in your retargeting campaigns that have already purchased okay so you're gonna hit exclude and then you're going to hit this create new again hit custom audience go to website hit next hit purchase okay the purchase event and then uh, leave it on 30 days and here you're going to type in purchase you can put all purchases all purchases Earths. <laughs> purchasers uh, then it's 30 days and the pay or I just type in the name of the store or offer hit create new hit done make very sure that this audience is not in your included box okay see how I jumped up there take it out now you're gonna go to exclude and you're gonna type in whatever that was okay boom now they're in the excluded audience uh, 
All right, so now uh, the age range, whenever I retarget, I usually leave it open. I leave the genders open. If you're, uh, if you're running worldwide traffic, you're gonna want to select English, all English. And the placements, you're gonna wanna leave open. Now you're gonna go uh, to the ad level and to create these ads, I would go to manual upload, single image and video. And then I would go to whatever ad that you wanna create, like an image ad, a video ad, whatever the case is, okay? Your headlines, when you do your retargeting campaigns, these are deals that you're making with these people. That means that you don't wanna have some generic ad copy. You, these headlines and the way that this is, should be written is, uh, we seen that you went to our website but you forgot to purchase. Here's an extra 10% off. Here's an extra 15% off. Here's an extra 20% off. Depending on your margins, you can go ahead and uh, set this up accordingly. Same thing with the headline. Here is 15% off. Here is 20% off. Here is 50% off. Call to action. Shop now. Okay? So, so you guys get the gist of uh, how you set this up. If you're using a Shopify store, I highly recommend using a discount link instead of trying to put the code up here. Now, you could put the code up here, the discount code, in addition to... Uh, that's what I like to do. I like to put the, the discount code up in here, but I also like to have the uh, discount link as the website because if they go to the website, and I'm specifically talking about e-commerce uh, stores, but if they visit a website with this uh, discount code link, then the, uh, discount, the discount is going to automatically be applied. Okay. Then make sure that you're tracking this on your website. And then also you need to enter your U, U, uh, URL parameter, okay? Uh, you want to do this because, because you want to be able to track on Google Analytics. You want to see all the campaigns, plus all the tracking software is out there like AnyTrack, Triple Whale, et cetera, et cetera. Use these UTMs to be able to read your campaigns. So because, like I said again, uh, not all sell, all sales will show up here, but they will show up in your reportings on your um, whatever you're using to track. So let's talk about uh, specific types of audiences. If I were to open up an e-commerce store, right? For example, so there's a little hack that we use uh, with these stores. Okay, this is how you create a custom audience based on the products. So if you go to products here in your store. Let's say that you're getting ready to choose a product. So let's just choose one. Now I'm going to move this slightly up so you can see the, the uh, browser URL. But you see these last set of numbers here, right? Right in this, in this box. It should say products forward slash and then it should have a number. This number is what identifies each an individual product inside of your store. If you create a custom audience based on each one of these products, you have a, a specific pocket of juice that you can target, you can create lookalikes from, and you can, re, like I said, you can retarget. I do this because it separates every single product in the store. Because if I'm running traffic to a brand new store and I've used a collection strategy, or I'm running traffic to a collection, then I know after a while what products are hitting and which ones aren't so all those people who hit that product page are then hitting these product IDs which are nothing more uh, other than content IDs so how do we create a custom audience on Facebook with cut with content IDs hit edit and please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you got any content uh, any uh, value from this video uh, really appreciate it. it goes a long way so going down further here obviously you're going to choose your event like you're supposed to purchase blah 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 now go down here where it says create audience hit custom audience 
hit website, hit next. Now from here, we're going to choose, and you can do view content, add to cart, and, but it has to be an event. Uh, view content, add to cart, or purchase. Let's say that we have like 100 plus purchases and we want to create lookalikes. I always start from the view content. Uh, it's super targeted. Like, it's retarded. Like, I, I can't even explain it. But uh, we're going to use the 30 days window. But you see where it says refine by? You're going to hit re, uh, URL parameter. Then you're going to hit this drop down. And you're going to select content IDs. And then you're going to paste in that number. And that's it. Now, what I like to do is whatever it is, okay, whatever, whatever the, the name of the product is, whatever, uh, I'm going to put this content ID in here. Uh, now this is going to distinguish ex this particular product and uh, the specific views that hit this product page. No other traffic is gonna is gonna be picked up by this pixel and this audience. Okay, you know how you have all website visitors is tracking every single click that's come to the site on every page. It's not as targeted as this. Okay, uh, this is gonna lower your conversion cost. It's going to um, it's gonna allow you to to basically whenever you go to scale. It's not going to open up to where your conversions are going to be like it's going to it's going to go up drastically. It's going to go up to a tad bit, but it's not going to go up as much as it would if you're using like uh, your your lookalikes based off of any like all your purchasers, all your all website visitors, all your add to carts, all your initiate checkouts, etc. Anyways, uh, after you create that audience there and you use it, you can create lookalike audiences and test those. And that'll give you some more firepower whenever you're running these ads, All right? Uh, there's many different tricks that I know as well. If, uh, for example, if you want us to run ads for you and your business, it doesn't matter if it's just e-commerce or it can be uh, a consulting business, coaching, local business, whatever it is, go ahead and click the link right below this video. Uh, we we will get on a free call. A call. We will look over your business most likely beforehand. We'll probably reach out to you and um, add you, basically have you add us into your ad account, and so we can see what's going on, and then give you some pointers so we would be prepared for the call uh, to give you, you know, best, the best uh, experience on that call. And then on that call, obviously, we're going to offer you our services to manage your account. If you don't want that obviously um, we will offer consulting so whatever your needs are we will help help you by sharing this information with you um, you know based on or we'll package something up based on your needs okay so anyways with that being said guys there's one other thing that you can do um, before we used to be able to break this these visitors down by seven days ten days fifteen days so on and so forth but it seems like it takes forever and ever to be able to get those types of um, ads to start reading the uh, pixel and the data. So now we just do 30 days and beyond uh, for our retargeting. Okay, um, Like I said, it changes all the time. And I think I pretty much covered everything in terms of retargeting uh, your different audiences. Now, there, like I said, there are different promotions that you got to run. Your fr free just pay shipping. Um, get 20% off, 30% off. If you're a service-based business, hey, uh, we will start for free for two weeks, uh, two-week trial, uh, get 50% off today only. You know, uh, just a lot of different things that, that you can do with any type of business. You just got to think outside the box on what people would want in terms of... Uh, you know, marketing your business. Use retargeting as a way to test very cheaply to see what that audience wants and responds to. And then you can decide to move that, that whatever that test is to the top of funnel, okay? 
And I talk about top of funnel, middle of funnel, and bottom of funnel uh, in my $1.2 million uh, ad strategy. You should find it on this YouTube channel somewhere. And uh, go ahead and follow that video. But anyways, with that being said, guys, I enjoyed doing these videos. Uh, it does me a great service if you guys subscribe and then go ahead and hit that like button. And I'll keep on coming out with more content on this channel.